just to be on the safe side, yeah, you might want to, I mean, I always recommend check with your reimbursement chairs for your state. Um, you know, there's the national reimbursement chair, but they haven't put out any of those rules really clearly. Some of the information's on the a website, but each of your state representatives might have a better idea. And I say might. All right, so let's create a bill. And let's see MS form. So I'm seeing this patient today. All right, so I'm seeing this patient today. I'm the rendering provider, my service facility. Now, you know, I have approved um, facilities. This is my main office. And let's, let's assume I'm providing it from my office because I know my it's approved as a provider, right? I'm credentialed at the location, number one. And number two, I know what the, the um, uh, what's it called? Um, I know the Wi-Fi is safe there. I know it's encrypted and password protected, for instance. So, so that's why I'm, I'm making sure that I provide that service there. And my billing is, is what it is, right? It's always going to be what's approved there. This is what I've credentialed with. But, you know, I'm seeing this patient. Let's use the good old. All right, now in the billing items is really the key here, right? So I'm putting my procedure, I'm seeing this patient. Actually, let's take a follow-up because there is some language around making sure it's a follow-up patient. Now, here's a, here's where I would normally put office, so I'm just changing this to 02. And, oops. See, 2 is telehealth, so it's already pre-populated. And I'm going to say... 95, which is a synchronous, not asynchronous, but a synchronous telehealth platform. And I've got that bill saved. So let's take a look at what it looks like. And you can see where it shows up on a CMS form. Oh. Okay, again, for those of you who don't use Calyx, at some point you could always, you'll get this uh, CMS form created with all the information you're putting in. Um, you, besides the basic stuff, we're mostly focused on this line here, right? This is where your date is, place of service, which would normally have been 11 for the office visit or 12 for the house call. It's two, right? So that means I've provided telehealth. Um, my, my procedure, which we know is approved, is MNT. And here's where my modifier shows up, all right? Um, the location where I provided it, that's linked to the place of service is still this location. So if I chose to put my home address, if it's approved as a provider to provide service out of, which I happen to be, but because I had kept it like that for a long time and I added my other offices. So those of you who've done that over the time would be in the same boat where you could use O2 here and it'd be linked to this provider address or linked to my home address, which is, which is an option as well. So, you know, just keep those things in mind when you're creating the bill because you, you want to, number one, be considered an in-network provider, right? That's the first thing. Yeah, anything you know is, that is off of that will be kick, kicking you out of network and it will be considered a non-covered uh, service. So you got to be a little bit careful there. But this is where it will all show up. You see where it says modifier here. See where it says place of service. And, again, every single – uh, EMR will have something similar, whether it's practice better, healthy, what have you. I'll edit this to be a GT, so you know what it looks like. So here's GT, video, interactive audio and video tele telecommunications. Very similar to 95, right? Really, it's almost indiscernible. But when you look at the grand scheme of all the thousands of codes and all the different providers, they, there are certain rules around the procedure code being linked to those modifiers. That's why you can't just use whatever you want. Um, but GT would probably be approved in almost all cases. I, we just know that CMS approved 95 to go along with the, the CPT code. And that's why they're right next to each other because that's, that's how it's communicating to the insurance company.